Hello and welcome back to another video. So I want to quickly talk about what uh, um, this new report feature that Mojang is going to implement into Minecraft Java and it was sort of inevitable really because it's uh, I don't think it's the same but I think it's almost the same as what Bedrock has but it is very very concerning about what how it had been handled so basically um people again like false reported left right and center and false banned and if you're banned from this it bans you on all um servers and realms and even your own private worlds like eat even like single player worlds or your own private realms, you're just banned from them as well. Um, which, yeah, that's really bad for multiple reasons. Firstly, this opens it up to a lot of abuse. Secondly, no one should ever be banned from a single player, you know, mode or whatever of a game that they paid for. Um, that is just despicable like there is no excuse for bat not letting people play in single player minecraft worlds or realms that they have personally paid for uh or servers that they have personally paid for so it's just like there's that um and uh, there's also the, the fact that they're doing this instead of like um cracking down on pay to win servers which are a real problem for Minecraft Java and they just aren't doing anything about it and uh, uh, now that I know this I was like yeah no wonder Nintendo didn't want to, uh, their players to have the ability to join uh, um, user created servers because they aren't sponsored by uh, Mojang because there are so many pay to win servers and it's like so instead of fixing that your trying to fix a problem that doesn't really exist like yes there are nasty people but you know moderators have been able to deal with it on their own just fine without you shoving in a uh permaban feature that is just you know, wrong um but not only that, but Amojang of all people should know this, but um, a, there was actually a server moderation uh, mod at one point that uh, was made that did the similar thing. Like, it was basically any server that had this moderation mod installed. Um, they'd basically share a ban list so if you were banned from banned from one well actually no it wasn't if you were banned from one it was banned it, it was if you were banned from three separate um servers then you'd get banned off all servers and you know what people did with this they uh, made three servers and they just started uh, banning everybody who joined that server and then a bunch of innocent people were getting a permabanned from a bunch of uh, servers that had this mod in. So it's just like, you all, you know that you should know that this was a thing and that this happened. Because again, it was around their game, so you'd think at least one member on the team would know about this. And that you'd think that, you know, they would be like, you know what, maybe this isn't, isn't such a good idea because people are going to be abusing it. Now, unlike that, they have claimed that, uh, well, they've at least claimed that um, it won't be, um, you know, just a bot. Uh, um, so you're just like banning people. Apparently, they, all of them will be reviewed by a real human being, which... Again, that's not um, a 100% secure um, method because, uh, as we've seen with YouTube in more recent times with um, Quantum TV, there are people in YouTube that are at least sympathetic to his 
ra- race no it wasn't racist it was homophobic and, and yeah i think it was just homophobic um tweets and it, uh, uh basically taking uh, helping him take action against people who reported on the homophobic treats that he made, basically saying that all LGBTQ plus people should be killed, essentially. Um, so if you have a member on the moderation team who is sympathetic towards homophobia or xenophobia or homophobia or I think I would say homophobia, racism or whatever, then that's gonna, you know, mess the moderation up, and it, uh, um, you're also gonna have, you know, stuff on the opposite end, like people who are, if you hire somebody that's too strict with the moderation and starts banning things that really shouldn't be banned, or, um, it, or what, it, or like things that are like taken out of context and uh, or they don't have the proper context for what is being said. Like there is so many ways that that even that can just mess up. Um, and yeah, it just does not sound like a good idea, period, to me. Um, but not only that, but they made it so that it is incredibly difficult to appeal a ban. Like, they li- they don't even tell you that you can appeal the ban. You have to find out for yourself, and there's a big whole old hubbub. And it's like, yeah, this is not looking good. And I think Mojang sort of recognizes it. They, basically, what they did is they basically delayed... Um, the update with it in. Uh, now, and they did a bunch of bug fixes as well, but it's just like, um, I don't know if being banned from your single player worlds or realms and servers that you own was a bug, uh, in qu- quotation marks there, but it's just like, that doesn't really seem like something that you could just accidentally code in. Like, Banned from your own realms? Okay, sure, I can sort of guess that, but being banned from single player worlds is like, yeah, no, that was definitely intentional. Um, so, yeah, um, don't really think that, um, that but um, they did like delay the launch of the update that would add it, add this into Minecraft Java and it's like it's kind of like um uh i think they sort of saw the public outcry and the fact that people absolutely hate um the moderation as it's con- as it currently is now i don't think it couldn't work like but i think it would have to go through a lot of changes firstly don't make it so that, um, you know, all servers are automatically forced into this. Make it so that servers can opt out if they want to. Um, secondly, make it so that um, server, oh, like admins and everything, have to, um, you know, if they opt into it, they can, um, what the report goes to the server admins, and then the server admins review it and then send it off to Mojang, who then reviews it because, um, that's adding two layers of um human moderation, which is better than one layer. And that, uh, um, not only that, but then the server moderators one have more time than the Mojang moderators, so they'd be able to contact the um people involved ask it ask them what was going on and investigate into it more and then if they uh do deem it to be um bad ban worthy they just click a button and it's like yep ban them um or no to not ban them and then they get banned from that server uh the 
um, report goes to Mojang and then Mojang independently reviews. And uh, you can also make it so that the moderators can um, add things onto it, just like uh, extra information that they found out. Then the Mojang moderators can independently, um, you know, independently uh, review it and depend and determine whether or not they should uh, be banned. Um, and I think that would work. And then you know, just make it so that you know, free strikes and you're out or temporary, you know. Basically, just like have it as like uh, normal moderation that you know, if you keep doing it, then it's banned. But I think the um, Mojang moderators should also outreach to the people, just like uh, send them a message on like their Microsoft account or their email or whatever. Just be like, hey, uh, we've noticed that that you we've been getting a bunch of reports of you being racist, sexist, homophobic, or whatever. Um, and it, uh, if you uh, get one more report, then you'll be permanently banned from uh, all online uh, servers and realms that you do not own. Um, and then, you know, they get another report, they get to banned from all online servers and realms that they do not own, but they're still allowed to play on the on ones that they do own and uh, they're still allowed to play on their single player world. I think that would work because that because from and I think this is a lot better for multiple reasons. Firstly, you're not taking choice away from the server moderators. If the server moderators think that to the system they have in place currently is working fine or they think they can do it better, then they have the choice to do so. Secondly, it means that Mojang and the only um, more, uh, the only people who get to decide whether or not something is ban weary, and it means that there's at least one one person that can dig into the situation a bit more and spend more time on whether or not the offence is ban weary. Anyway, these are just my opinions and my thoughts on the matter, though. Uh, you can definitely see um, there's a lot more pe lot of people talking about it online, and I really think that this is unnecessary for Java because Java has a lot of mods and plugins and stuff that already deal with moderation, and uh, you don't really need it. In my for Java, in my opinion, but I see why Mojang may feel the need to um, add it in. But I think there's bigger problems with Java servers. Again, pay to win. Like seriously, um, you could probably just like look up Minecraft Java pay to win servers and uh, just get a bunch of videos talking about them, how big of a problem they are. How scummy they are! Like, um, I, I can't remember the name of the channel, but I watched this channel uh, that is dedicated to like um, crashing the economies of uh, um, pay-to-win servers by duping a bunch of really valuable items and selling them on the marketplace and uh, to buy um, what do you call it? Um, where's and yeah, yeah, by um, lagging the servers out so people can't play, so that when people who play on them, it's like super laggy and not fun, and then people just leave and stop playing. Um, but yeah, like, that is, in my opinion, the much bigger problem for Minecraft at the moment. But hey, let me know what you think. Do you think that? Do you agree with uh, my opinion on how they should chain, how they should implement the moderation system if they are going to? Do you think they should implement it at all? Do you think they should implement it as it is? Uh, do you think that Minecraft Java doesn't need uh, moderation this because they've got all the um, other ways of moderating? Let me know all that and any other thoughts you have in this.